Welcome to this video about loops inside loops. To understand how I'm going to do this, pretend that we have trips. We want to go from point A to point X or from point A to point B. And in between these letters, in between this from and to, we have several stops. To do this, we are going to start creating an array and then I will call the array trips. This array of trips is going to be an array and internally this will be all the trips and internally we will have individual trips if i do this with php and associative arrays then you will have to go and learn how this is working or i can also do this as an array with json object objects which is probably what most people will do today therefore i will start creating my json objects inside the array and in php JSON objects are not understood by default, so therefore you need to convert the structure that I will build now into an object. So I will start creating a structure that looks like an array, each is text, and internally I will have each trip. So this is just text, and I will convert this into a PHP array JSON object. So I will do an S trips because that is just text that will contain trips the first trip is going to have and i will break this into lines so you can see the trip itself the first trip is going to have a from and we are going to go from point a and it's going to have a two we're going to go to point b i save we're going to reload the page we don't have any errors there now for the sake of the space i will just do this in one line now this s trips is not an object we need to convert it into an object i will create an object inside the variable called j data so i will take the s trips and i will decode it json decode converts text into an object if the syntax of the object is valid save it reload everything is running as expected so this array contains one trip i already have a bug here i can see that i did not close the curly brace right there save it and reload now this will be the first element i want to go through or with the loop if i want to display the letters a and b in the body of the page i need to point to that object j data and i need i need to loop through it so this J data is going to be an array with JSON objects internally. Each JSON object is going to be a trip. So I'm going to modify the name of my variable and I will call it array with JSON data. So you better understand this. I'm going to create a loop and this is going to be a PHP loop. So I need to open the PHP tags and we close the PHP tags. So we're going to loop through the array of JSON data, which is the variable there. You can also call it AJ trips if you want. And each time I loop through it, I am going to grab one JSON trip. So this here is the trip in itself. So I'm going to say that from the AJ data, each time I look through it, I want to grab a trip. This is a variable I just invented. You can call this anything you want. And therefore I can echo, let's say J trip, and then I can point to the different key value pairs. Let me see if I can just shrink this so you can see the whole thing. The key value pair is from and to. That's the key, that's the value. So if I say from, save and reload the page i see the letter a and in the same trip if i say two i will see the letter b so this is looping through the main trips individual trips getting that into this variable here if i add a new trip copy and paste and then i will add trip x to y and then i change the variable to from, I reload, 
I see the A, which came from this from, and then I see the X that came from that from. So this is the main loop. In order to keep it simple, I will delete the second trip, and then I will just stick to one of those. Now, between point A and point B, pretend that there are several stops. So what I will do, I will create a new key called stops. And this key contains a value. And since you have plenty of stops, multiple stops, that will be an array in itself. I save it, I reload, no errors. I will break this into lines now so you can see what the stops look like. Each stop in itself is a JSON object. Therefore, I will create the first stop as an object. And the second stop will also be an object and so on. So for now, to keep it light, the first stop is going to have, let's say, a name, so we can stop somewhere, and the name of it will be called stop1. Pretend that that's a point between A and B. We can also have a duration time, if you want to know how long time you're going to stop for, and we're going to have a unique of measurement that's going to be, let's say, 100. This 100 can be anything. It can be hours, it could be minutes, up to you. It's just an, a unit for measuring something. We save it, we reload, then a box. For the first stop, we copy it, we do a comma, and then we paste it. Now we have a stop two. The duration is going to be 200. Save and test, there are no box. If you had box, for example, missing the comma, you should see a warning popping up. This could come from a database, this data could come from an API, from a text file. Now that we have going from and going to, we're going to display the data a little bit nicer. So I'm going to echo. I will double quote this variable so I can just say from, save and test, from A. I will duplicate this line and then I will say to, and we are taking from the trip the key called to. Save and test. That's the A and two. The from and to. So let's create a div around this element and a div around that element. Same for the two, so we can see this in different lines. We check, everything is fine. All right, so now that I have the from and the two, we need to see the stops. If you look at this structure, the stops in itself is an array. You can see it there. The first loop was looping through the trip. And if I break this into more lines, so you can see the whole trip, it will look like this. From two, and the stops is there. And now we close the main array. This opening and closing is the first array, therefore you need a loop. And you can see that you have an inner array, and therefore you will also need a loop and that's why it's called a loop inside a loop. If you have a third array, then you will need three loops. If you have 20 arrays, you will need most likely 20 loops. This loop here loops through the trips. But now we need to loop through the stops. So we'll put a comment, loop through the stops. And this is going to be a for each loop again. In this case, if you look at the data that we have here, that's the trip. And now we need to get the stops of each trip. In this loop, in this one, we already have the trip. So we say we want to loop through each of the trip stops. And this J trip stops is pointing to this array. And we would like to get each stop as, and we're going to realize that each stop in itself is a JSON object. So this is one stop, and that's the second stop. So we will get each stop as a stop. You can call this whatever you want, but I will call it JSON stop. And I call it J stop, because if you look at the data, it's actually a JSON object. Now that you have 
selected the JSTOP, which is going to echo the letter X inside a div. And then I will just close the div. And this is just to see if I see two X's. And I do see two X's because I have inside the first trip. Remember, this J trip is the first one in the loop. The second time, the third time, you have three trips. And for each of the trips that you have selected, select each of its individual corresponding stops. Get it as a J stop and display just the letter X. But obviously you don't want the letter X. You would like to display the name of the stop and the duration time. So I'm going to double code this and that will allow me to put variables internally. And then I will do this. I'm going to write the name of the stop. And the name of the stop will come from the J stop pointing to its name. And this will point to that name, stop one, stop two, and so on. Save and test, stop one and stop two. And if I want to display the time, the duration in that stop, I can just do a space and then I will do time. And then I will point to the stop and I need to point to the key called duration. I copy it and then I paste it. Save and test. And this is the result. My trip is going from A to B. I'm going to stop at point one for a hundred, whatever that is. I'm going to stop at two for 200. Now to finalize the exercise, I'm going to copy this stop, I'm going to duplicate it and I will change some data. Now we're going from X to Y. We're going to stop at, let's say, 10 and we're going to stop at 11. It doesn't really matter. Those could be names of cities, towns, and the time will be this to 50 and 60. Save it and reload now you can see that the first trip is going from a to b with two stops the second trip is going from x to y with these two stops i hope you guys understand how to understand loops inside loops for each array you see you create a loop so if you see 20 arrays internally you will most likely have 20 loops okay guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something about this. Thank you very much.